the ALEN, Almighty Latin Eagles Nation, originated in the area of Halstead and Addison in Chicago in the 1960s. Originally meant to be a Latino political organization, by the 1970s it had transformed into a criminal street gang. Members of the Latin Eagles Nation identify themselves with the colors gray and black. They also use the symbols such as an eagle head or an eagle in flight. They also use the symbols for and are associated with the folk nation. In 1962 Latin American immigrants, Pops and Cha Cha Jimenez started a community organization in Chicago's northwest side for Hispanics who wanted to fight against a corrupt system, racism, and segregation. This eventually became the Latin Eagles. In the news. The Illinois Supreme Court ordered a new trial for Salvador Ortiz for a 1992 gang-related Lakeview slaying that drew attention after Ortiz's mother, who became a community activist and advocate for her son's case, died in police custody in 2004 after being arrested on drug charges. The mother, May Molina, whose children filed a wrongful death lawsuit that is still pending in federal court had played an important role in Thursday's court decision by persuading a new witness to come forward after meeting him six years ago at a Chicago Puerto Rican Day Parade. If my mom were here now, she would have been jumping for joy, said her daughter, April Ortiz, 38. The state's highest court ordered another trial based on the new eyewitness testimony affirming an appellate court decision that found it would probably result in Ortiz being found not guilty. No physical evidence linked Ortiz, who is serving a 47-year sentence, to the murder. Prior to, Melina's, death, she crusaded constantly for her son's innocence, said tax attorney Mark Oates, who took the case pro bono. And she had been doing footwork for him. The victim, Francisco Ramos was walking near Gill Park in the 800 block of West Sheridan Road when two Latin Eagles gang members false flagged him, flashing rival gang signs to learn his true alliance. When Ramos signaled he was from a rival gang, he was chased, beaten, kicked and shot six times. Two witnesses said they saw Ortiz, who is alleged to have been a gang leader, shoot Ramos, but both later recanted. The new witness, Sigfrido Hernandez, who said he saw the killing while buying marijuana in the area, never told anyone what he saw out of fear, according to Thursday's decision. After speaking with Molina, Hernandez decided to get it off, his, chest and wrote in an affidavit that he saw two other gang members shoot Ramos. He said he did not see Ortiz there. In 2004, Molina died of heroin intoxication in a Belmont area police cell. An autopsy found heroin packets in her esophagus. Her attorney said he had requested medical attention for her that she never received.